Appreciate y'all for always coming through, showing your boys some love. Today, of course, we're gonna get into some more Grand Blue. I'm loving this game. Like I'm, I really, really like the game. I'm trying to battle that with our girl Catalina. I know y'all saw us last video. We got knocked down to like A or whatever, but we rose back up. We're at S right now, but we kind of, we still stuck, y'all. So today, let's let's just try to focus. Like take it little by little. Not caring about the wins, cause I'm, if I'm being honest, I still got a little bit of that in me. Like once I get close to a win, I try to chase the win. But let's just focus on getting better in the game. Um, but before we do, let's get into our first. To the stream. So the verse of the stream is going to be coming from Mark 9 23, which reads Jesus said to him, If you can't believe, all things are possible to him who believes. So this is one of the gospels, meaning this is one of the accounts of Jesus' life and what he came to do die for us on the cross and save us from our sin and its consequences. In this context, before kind of the 23rd verse, this man comes up to him with his son and he's basically telling, asking Jesus, Hey, can you save my son? Because it's essentially a demon in him. Um, this demon is causing him to foam at the mouth. It's throwing him in the water and throwing him in the fire, basically hurt, trying to harm my son. And so this man comes to him, and that's when Jesus tells him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believe. In that, we got to break that down, right? So believe in what? He came to Jesus. So he had heard about Jesus doing miracles and everything like that. All in all, we can conclude that Jesus is telling him, if you can believe in my power, all things are possible. We can assume that the man believed, because in the response, he tells him he believes, but help him with his unbelief, which is a, that's a whole different sermon right there. Jesus ends up casting the demon out of his son, but I want to bring that to you guys to say, like, if you can believe in Jesus' power, all things are possible. Healing, casting out demons, deliverance for something you need to be delivered from, all of that, but you got to believe. You can't just say, oh, I know he can do this and not believe and not have faith in his power. It's not going to work that way. Because also in this story, I didn't tell y'all, the man said he came to the disciples. He tried to get them to cast them out, but they couldn't do it. And then Jesus responded in the way, basically saying, oh, faithless world. Like, I'm here and y'all faithless. When I'm gone, what's going to happen? So Jesus is just saying, man, come on now. Like, y'all still don't got faith? These are his disciples that was walking day to day with him. And they couldn't cast them out because they didn't have faith. So that just goes to show you, like, this faith thing is real truly have faith in God's power even for the non-believers I encourage you to search them really believe anything that you're going through pain you need peace you need joy you need love I'm encouraging you to really believe in his power because like he said if you believe all things are possible and I believe if you really believe and really give your heart to him and really try to get a relationship with him that's where the change is going to happen your heart is going to change because you're believing in his power and that's when you can do things because without faith you can't please God uh, hope that encourages somebody. Hope that encourages Christians and non-believers. And with that being said, let's get into some gameplay. Here begins Fate's episode. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. 
Wait, try to be disrespectful. Nope. Mm -mm. Why are you trying to turn this like that, yo? Okay, they got that in my bed. My bed, bro. All right, so we in we the top of S fall, so we stayed in S. We stayed in S. All these matches been intense, y'all. Goodness gracious! But that's gonna be it, y'all, for the stream. As you saw, we progressed in rank. We stayed in S. We stayed in S rank, which was cool. Y'all saw some tough battles. Definitely feel myself getting better as far as just awareness and what's going on. I um, definitely can brush up on some things, but as far as like being patient to see what the enemy does and try to study and try to figure it out, even when we lose, I feel more comfortable in doing that and not just getting frustrated over the losses. So yeah, man, it was a fun session today. So with that being said as always for those who have the hearts the softened hearts and the open minds to listen the ones that have the ears to hear just know that jesus loves you like this is serious like know that jesus loves you and he wants a relationship with you even if you're a non-believer jesus is for you jesus came down for everybody not just me as a christian but for you too as a non-believer so just try it and your life will change for the better definitely with that being said i'll talk to y'all later until next time